guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching about Bakugan. We will be talking about the toy aspect, but how they are engineered from the inside and how they work. Without further ado, let's get started. From an engineering aspect and perspective, Bakugan is very interesting. They have many interesting and complicated structures that are wrapped up in a small form. Today, we will be taking a look at three Bakugan. Let's start with the first one. For this Bakugan in particular, and every other Bakugan, it all begins with the magnet in the tail of the Bakugan. Once the Bakugan lands on their cores, the magnets inside the core and the magnet inside the toy attach, releasing a hook inside the toy. Once the hook is released, it activates three springs. These springs are the two for the wings to open up, and the last one under here for the head to also open up. Now that the head and wings open up, it gives space for the legs that are tucked under the wing. These legs have springs in the back of the Bakugan and the front of the Bakugan. One side of the Bakugan also has metal screws so that the springs work. Through these steps, the Bakugan has turned from a rolling ball into an actual toy. When playing, this only takes mere seconds because of how quick the springs and magnets are. Now for our next red Bakugan, like every other Bakugan, it starts with a magnet in the tail. When the magnet is activated when the Bakugan is rolled on a core, this activates a sort of hinge mechanism that starts by opening up the wings. This allows two things to pop open. The head, which is secured using the wings that are now open, and the tail at the back because the whole Bakugan structure is opened up. Finally, after all of that, the Bakuan's legs open up to reveal the final pose. If you want, you can open up the horn at the head of the Bakuan to make the final pose look nicer. Now we can move on to Nilius, our last Bakuan in this video. Like I said before, it all starts with the magnet in this Bakuan. Once the magnet in the Bakuan and the magnet in the core connect, a hinge inside the Bakuan that is connected to a hinge that is in the tail moves so that the tail can unlock. Once the tail unlocks, it allows the wings to move because the tail was in the way. This also allows the head to open up as the wings block the head from moving. Because of the way how this Bakuan is made, it has to be put back in a specific way. You have to start by closing the head, then the wings, and finally the tail. If it isn't done in this specific way, the Bakugan won't close properly. Now we have talked about all the Bakugan that I have. I have shown how they work and how their engineering is very interesting and complex. If you guys like this video and the content that I make on this channel, then please consider hitting the bell button, liking this video, and subscribing. We have just reached 300 subscribers and subscribing gives me the motivation to make these videos. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!